Aries, this is your reading for this week. Your first card is the Hermit. The Hermit's asking you to take some time out and to do some contemplation. There's something that you need to think very, very carefully about because it also relates to your confidence and your self-esteem and how you're viewing yourself. So this is a very important move for you to take because your next card is actually the Eight of Wands. And this is saying, look, you're in a much better position than you actually think you are. So this is where you need to boost your own self-confidence, boost your own self-esteem and realize everything that you've actually managed to achieve to date. Because your next card is the Star card. And the Star card is saying there is hope on the horizon. You just need to let your old views not dominate your mind. Let them fall away now and let them become a thing of the past. And you will succeed in the areas that you need to. Enjoy this week. Taurus, this is your reading for this week. Your first card is the Ten of Swords. There's a problem around you that you really can't get to grips with and that you're allowing to put you down, further down into the ground than you actually really want to. I'd say to you, rise up against this because this is about an external situation and you're allowing it to get the better of you and allow yourself to go in, in the right direction. Because the next sword here is the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords are saying, look, think clearly, know exactly what you want to do, know exactly how you want to do it, and then seize the moment and move forwards very, very swiftly. Because the next card is the Wheel of Fortune and Lady Luck is trying to look after you. The Ten of Swords is not a nice card, but Lady Luck finishes everything off for you this week in a very nice way. Take Lady Luck's advice, understand that you're good enough, know that things need not defeat you, and rise up and allow yourself to move forward. Gemini, this is your reading for next week. Your first card is the Page of Pentacles. There's something that you need to focus on and start putting in the hard work for. There, you have some good ideas, but you've now got to make them come to fruition. And once you do, your Ten of Pentacles will come into place here and everything you need will start falling in the right direction and allowing you to go forwards in the way that you've been wanting to do so for quite a long time. So allow the page here to um, give you advice, allow the page to give you the project, allow the page to put in the hard work because then you can start moving forwards in the way that you need to. And your last card is the Three of Cups and you will get the joy that you're wanting and you can have some time out and celebrate because you're going to start seeing the results that you've been so desperately needing. Cancer, this is your reading for next week. Your first card is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is saying to you that you're thinking that you're stuck and you can't see your way out of a situation. But actually, I'd say to you that the situation is easy to resolve and the answer is closer to hand than you're anticipating. You need to look further afield for the answers and allow yourself to get more creative in exactly what you want to do and how you want to do it. Because your next card and last card is the Ace of Pentacles. And there's a new project coming towards you that requires you to look further afield, requires you to do things in a completely different way that frees you from being stuck with the Eight of Swords. Look further afield, know exactly what you want to do. Leo, this is your reading for this week. Your first card is the moon. What is it that you're not seeing clearly? What is it that you've put rose-coloured glasses on to look at? You need to understand the exact <coughs> detail of every situation so that you don't delude yourself. And in this picture, we also have a bird here. And by understanding exactly what you need to know, you will free yourself from a situation that has been causing you a lot of problems because you've been deluded. But at the same time, you've also taken on an, an extra load. You've also taken on everybody else's thoughts, everybody else's problems. And you've not really tended to your own. And this has been weighing you down. And as a result, the death card then comes in and says to you that you need to make some transformation now. Because from death we get rebirth. And you need to think about how you're going to start doing you going forwards. You know you've plenty of support, so there's nothing stopping you. Virgo, this is your reading for this week. Your first card is the Five of Pentacles. There's a situation around you that's making you feel a little bit out of sorts and possibly insecure. However, allow yourself to get over this because the Hierophant card comes in and that's your teacher card. 
and there's some lessons that you need to learn. So maybe from this, from the insecurities that you've been feeling, know that the situation actually isn't about you, so that you can feel secure within yourself, and take a different stance, take a different viewpoint, because with the higher front here, you will release yourself from a situation that you don't need to be in anymore. And your last card is the two of, two of cups. And this will help you embrace anything that's coming towards you that you need now in your life. So quit with the defense mechanism, quit with being insecure, and re learn to receive everything that's coming towards you. It will be nice. Libra, this is your reading for this week. Your first card is the Empress. You need to put yourself first and center in everything that you're doing in your life. You're very good at giving to everybody else because you feel you've got abundant energy, which is very good and very nice, but it's for you. It's not for everybody else. This week, learn to give and take in a better proportion. Give less. It means you can receive a lot more because the universe is trying to teach you a lesson here. And the emperor comes in, and which is next to the empress, and this is telling you that you can be passionate about everything, but don't keep getting out of your chair and running around after everybody else. This week's focus is you as your priority number one. And once you learn to do this, your card of inheritance with the Six of Pentacles, which you will receive everything that you've been wanting for such a long time. Scorpio, this is your reading for this week. Your first card is the Four of Cups, and you've got to ask yourself why you've got to be patient. Because there's a situation that you can't move, you can't manipulate, you can't control it, and you're going to have to take your time and think very carefully how it's going to work and be of benefit to you. But backing this card up is the Devil card. And what is it that you need to change? Well, we know that you need to learn to be more patient. We have the fox in this picture, and it says, look carefully and quietly from the distance at situations around you, because there's more information coming to you that's really, really going to help you. And your last card is the Eight of Cups, and there is something that you are going to actually have to walk away from, because there isn't anything else you can do about it. Just walk away knowing that you've done everything that you could do. Be proud of what you've tried to achieve. Sagittarius, this is your reading for this week. Your first card is the Nine of Wands. You're feeling battered and bruised from recent events. But actually know that you've put in 120% into absolutely everything. The fact that you didn't get the result that you wanted is nothing to do with it really. But you just need to know that you've done what you could. Because the next card comes in is a judgement card. You've actually just got to walk away. Whether you walk away mentally or whether you actually physically walk away. Just remove yourself from the problem and everything will start to fall into place. Because your last card is a lover's card and the universe is trying to bring you something that you really do need and you need to learn how to embrace it and then you will receive everything that you've been wanting and waiting for. Capricorn, this is your reading for this week. Your first card is the Three of Swords. There's a situation around you that you really can't get to grips with and actually it's now starting to get on top of you. Stop trying to figure it out. Stop trying to find a new direction for it and understand that you need to become away from being Cinderella and allow yourself to go to the ball in whatever nature that metaphor fits for you. Because your Knight of Swords comes in and he says, look, things are going to start moving quickly now and you need to change your focus and know with clarity exactly what you want to do and how you want to do it. Because at the end of the day, the Eight of Pentacles comes in here and the Eight of Pentacles says, put in the hard work and the lucky cat will take care of you and give you the rewards that you so justly want, need and deserve. Enjoy this week. Aquarius, this is your reading for this week. Your first card is the Three of Pentacles. The emphasis here is that you need to put yourself in the spotlight. In other words, star in your own movie. If you don't think about you, then you're not going to be any good to anybody else. And she's asking you to think very carefully.